first thing we're going to do is cook our meat. You're going to throw your pork in the crock pot and fill up the crock pot halfway with water or if you want to measure it, uh, do six cups of water. Then you're going to add your two bay leaves, half an onion, two tablespoons of beef boilone, one teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of crushed garlic. You're going to cook this for eight hours in the crock pot on low. After eight hours has passed, you can shred the meat and either throw it back into the broth or set it aside. This next part will be super easy. We're just gonna be boiling the chilies. So all you gotta do is boil a large pot of water, about six cups, and then you're gonna cut the stems of the 14 chili guajillo and two chili pasillas and put them in the boiling water for 30 minutes or until the chilies have softened. The next step, you're gonna blend the chilies that you just boiled and add a half cup of the broth from the chilies, six chili de arbol, one teaspoon of garlic powder, cumin, and salt, and two cups of broth from the pork you made earlier. Finally, you're just gonna blend everything till it's well blended and then taste it afterwards to see if it needs salt. That is so good. So the next thing we're going to do is soak these bad boys up in the sink for about an hour. Um, these are corn husks, in case you didn't know. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, after that, um, put something like aluminum foil on top. And then you need something heavy. Let me see. <laughs> this might be too heavy. Let me see. Oh, no, perfect. Okay. Just so that way all the corn has stay in the water. All right, so leave it like that for an hour. And while that is soaking, we can cut up some stuff that I'm gonna put into the tamales. This part is optional, by the way. As long as you got that olive in there, you're, you're good. But I like to put extra stuff in there. I'll show you. All right, we made it to step 25. Just kidding, I don't know what step this is. This is optional. I already said that earlier, it's optional. So what I like to do is prep everything that I'm gonna put inside the tamale besides the meat. Put it in a tray or something. Um, so I got here, I have some olives. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end up draining the water and then putting all the olives in here. Um, you might need more than this. I'll grab two just in case when you go to the store. And then I also like to put sliced jalapenos, the ones that are pickled. Oh my gosh, it makes it so good. I just, like, I dump out the water and then I just put one strip into the tamale. But these are actually, like, really small. Let me see. Yeah, these are small. I might put two. But yeah, you can put as much as you want. I bought two cans just in case. And last but not least is potatoes. So what I do is I cut them into french fries, like, really small french fries. I stick them in there too, and it's just a good extra. You don't have to though. As long as you got this, the olives, you're good. Oh, and then I'm gonna show you real quick how I cut the potato. I'm just gonna show you a quick demonstration in case you don't know how to do it. All right, first step you're gonna do is cut this in half. And then, at this point, you're just gonna cut it into, like if you're making french fries. So thin like this, very thin, oh wait, very, very thin. Uh, you don't have to make them this big. I'm probably gonna cut them, yeah, I'm gonna cut it in half. Perfect. So yeah, that's how you do it. You just do it like that and stick it into the tamale. And there you have it. So it still hasn't been quite an hour yet. So I thought let's make the matzo after this. It, sh it should for sure be an hour and the corn husk should be done. So this next part, um, you're gonna need five pounds of masa, the one that's already made. And then you're also gonna need two cups of broth from the pork that you made earlier. Keep that in. And you're going to need 16 ounces of lard, but make sure it is melted. You can either melt it with your hands or you can put it in the microwave. But if you do put it in the microwave, if it's piping hot, do not use it yet. Wait till it's like room temperature right now. This is perfect. But let's say it was piping hot, and you put it in here, this is gonna cook, and then you're just gonna mess it all up. So just make sure it's room temperature. 
and salt to taste. Don't have to use pink salt, but I like using pink salt. It makes me feel healthy. Even though this is not a healthy dish, but whatever. All right, I might have to stand up in this part. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna try sitting down. But first, you are going to put your hands in here. Watery though, like don't make sure it's not watery. You want it a good, um, like you want it thick but not watery. All right, so this next part is the best part. Okay, first up, you're gonna find. A nice corn husk. Yeah, this one's nice. Okay. I'm gonna set it down like this, as if you're looking at a triangle. Next, you're gonna get some masa. And you're gonna spread it at the bottom. Don't go all the way up though, just go, go halfway. some meat, like a spoonful, let's see. Nah, we can put more, let's put a little more. There you go. Put that, and then you put whatever you want in here. I like to put one potato, two olives, I like one at the top and one at the bottom, and then a jalapeno, and then you just, you go like this, one, And then the bottom, you just fold it, go like this, okay, fold it, and then you're just going to set it in your steamer, let me see if I can put it over here, you just set it like this, like standing up, okay. You guys, don't be like me. I, I put corn husk on the bottom of the pot or the steamer. Don't do that. I don't know why I did that. Just take it out if you did and just don't think about it ever again. I'll show you at the end though what it looks like when they're all in there. And then I'm gonna show you guys one more. Um, let's say you have two little ones, right? Um, I mean, let's say you have one little one and you don't know what to do with it. You can get two little corn husks and make one tamale. And I'll show you right now. So here's two little ones. So you're gonna put one down like this and then put the other one over it, just by a little bit, like that. Oh my gosh, it's upside down. Eh, there you go, better. <laughs> See, and now it's like as if you have a big one. And then you're gonna do the same thing, grab some masa and spread it halfway only. You don't want it like too thick on here. You just want enough to coat the corn husk. Add some meat. Then add your toppings again. This one, I'm gonna add a carrot. <laughs> I bet you it'll taste good. And just wrap it like you would. And then fold it. Standing up or else it's gonna fall. Oh, look how small this is. 
This is one of those ones where you're supposed to use two husks, but I was like, let me use one. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh. Who knows? Maybe it'll come out good. Sorry. I just wanted to show you guys. All right. And this is what it looks like. Now, I made half the batch, like half the recipe, because I'm just doing this for demonstration. But if you do the actual recipe, it'll make double this. Makes a lot. All right, so the next part, we are gonna put this on the stove. So I just set the stove on high because I want this water down here to boil. Completely forgot to tell you guys, before you put this metal part down here, you're gonna take this out. See the holes right here? You're just gonna pull it out. You're gonna fill this up with water. See where this line is right here? I think I filled it up like, yeah, I filled it up right to this line. Just make sure the water is like not above this metal piece. So you're gonna fill it up with water and then you're gonna add like two, you could do two pennies, but make sure you wash it with soap before you put it in here, cause that's gross. But you need that, you need two pennies in there because when the water boils, you can hear it moving down there. But if the water evaporates, you're not gonna be able to hear the, the money. And then that's when you know you need to add more water. Okay, I can hear the money moving. I want to see if you guys can hear it. Hold on. It just sounds like this. Ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. That's when you know it's ready. All right, now we can set this on medium. Medium. Put the lid on. And set your timer for an hour and a half. Or if you're doing the microwave, set it for 90 minutes. And we'll check back with you after. All right, so it is done. Now, so I don't wanna wait forever for these to cool off in this pot. So I'm gonna take some of them out, like three. Put them on a plate and let them cool off. And you just gotta wait 10 minutes and they should be good to eat. The moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah. Huh. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Hold on a second. <laughs> it was all big and now it's teeny. It's because it was one of those ones where it had um, two little moths in the home. Or two little corn husks. Alright, let's taste test it. Oh my gosh. It's so good, Henry. Explain to you how delicious this is. It's like creamy in the inside and soft on the outside. It's just so yummy. I was trying to find one that had um a piece of carrot in it. Oh, what, baby? Yeah, it tastes it's good. Yeah, I was trying to find one that had a carrot in it because I'm just curious to see what that tastes like. But this one just has potato, jalapeno, and olives. But it's so yummy, you guys. But yeah, this is my second time making tamales. I still have a lot of practicing to do, but not bad for my second try. 